Hey everybody. See about an hour or two after I got home from work I decided to go ahead and um, check my emails and stuff like that and go to YouTube and watch some videos. And I got greeted with this. Well not this screen here but you know the um, the infamous pink screen that pops up whenever somebody sends a DMCA notice regarding one of your videos. Apparently Microsoft has gotten DMCA happy all of a sudden. They're going to start taking down a bunch of videos. And I happen to just find this, you know, just from doing a search. So Microsoft issuing takedown notices on YouTube videos containing Windows related content. Now of course, as you know, there's a, there's a lot of videos out there that contain Windows related content. And it says update at 4.45 p.m. Microsoft sent us a statement citing stolen product keys embedded in YouTube comments as the reason for videos being targeted inadvertently. Now anyways, you guys know, or some of you know, that the YouTube, um, the um, Q Computer Channel comments policy states, you know, that if you post comments regarding software piracy or, or you know, post keys like that, they're going to get removed. And this is one of the reasons why I have a policy like that in, re in regards to that. Now anyways, back to the point. The video in question here is basically it's a simple video, less than 10 minutes long. Um, me talking about how to activate Windows 7 over telephone when you have the home premium family pack. For those who don't know, back in late 2009 when Windows 7 came out, Microsoft um, was pushing out Windows 7 for real cheap. For home premium you could get a family pack and get three licenses, you more or less three PCs for a single product key. Now the only thing is if you had to activate Windows over telephone for whatever reason and it asked you however many PCs you had this installed on, if you answered like two or three, it would say um, the license terms state that you cannot have, you know, more than one PC on a Windows key. Now normally this is the case, but with the family pack, you actually were granted three computers on a single license. So basically, um, the telephone activation system wasn't updated to, you know, reflect that, because obviously the family pack was a limited time offer. But basically, this video is mainly just looking at myself doing a phone activation. The only time I post. Um, yeah, the only time that you actually see Windows software in the video is right about, yeah, there. And it's merely for less than a minute. No product keys are being shown. And I can pretty much guarantee you, looking through, if I was to look to my comments on that video, I would not see any um, listed product keys or anything like that. So anyways, I think Microsoft is actually abusing the DMCA here, taking down videos for not necessarily the videos themselves, but for some comments that get posted. You know, there's other ways you can deal with that. Maybe you should address this with YouTube, but not, you shouldn't be taking down videos because of the comments. I mean, it, that's actually what it says. This is um, a statement from Microsoft, citing stolen product keys embedded in YouTube comments as a reason for videos being target inadvertently. So anyways, just just in case, if you ever have a video that gets taken down like this, you do have rights. Um, the DMCA has a process called um, counter notification. If your video gets taken down and you see fit that the video is fair use, let's say if you, uh, you know, you do have like a, maybe a little bit of um, screenshots of Windows in the video, but as you can see, the reason why they took it down had nothing to do with Windows itself, it's due to the product keys. Um, anyways, as I mentioned, if in a case like this, where the video com is, you know, what seems to be taken down by mistake or misidentification, you do have rights to get it um, restored through the counter notification process. Now, be careful with this because it is actually a legal process, and you need to be setting good faith notices when doing this process if you decide to do it. So, anyways, as I mentioned, you know, this small portion video where I read this right here basically this situation here was um, I had I think two computers on that um, plan on that on that copy of Windows 7 Home Premium Family Pack and I redone some hardware in one and reinstalled Windows and of course a lot of times that will trigger the 
phone activation. So that's why I had to make this video here was you know to explain this. So anyways, um, as you see, if you look at the rest of the video, it's just me doing the phone activation at my desk. No product keys. No piracy. Nothing like that. Now, of course, it also amazes me about YouTube how, um, apparently, you know, well, it's actually the law, the DMCA law. Um, YouTube apparently has a shoot first, ask questions later policy. And you gotta understand, I mean, maybe with a small channel that hasn't been out for long, you're not gonna understand them kind of taking some serious precautions. But anyways, I'll, you know, but that's gonna be another subject for a different video. But anyways, um... <laughs> Yeah, and Microsoft has all of a sudden gotten DMCA happy. Gonna start taking down videos for content that's not in the video itself, but rather the YouTube comments. Isn't that crazy? So anyways, and the question for comments. Feel free to ask them. Thanks for watching.